What we have seen is that window of carbohydrate tolerance opens way up. Strategic use of carbohydrates has not only improved performance, but we also see the athlete get stronger, fitter, and healthier. Hi, today we're going to talk about strategic carbohydrates. Now this is the final tier of the different sections of the OFM pyramid before we put it all together into your individualized OFM performance paradigm or your performance matrix as I like to call it. And so um, strategic carbohydrates was a term that I coined way back in 2008 when we'd already been working for, with athletes for a while and I've been doing it personally since 2001 and we crudely developed some methods where we brought carbohydrates back in to the fat adapted process because we saw that carbohydrates worked in terms of improving the performance. Now in the last 10 years we've kind of refined that. We've not only seen how that strategic use of carbohydrates has not only improved performance but we also see the athlete get stronger, fitter, and healthier when we use carbohydrates and I'm talking about concentrated forms of carbohydrates strategically in the diet and in the race fueling if you're doing endurance sports. So um, what I want to just kind of open up as we, we delve into this subject is one of the things that we've seen uh, markedly and then in reading the literature and the physiology and thinking about this, strategic carbohydrates make sense. And this is why OFM has pioneered this concept of strategic use because what we've seen is that when you get somebody properly fat adapted, and that means they're building that huge aerobic base on a fat based physiology, they are getting the proper nutrition, which means nutrient dense, bioavailable, and nutritionally balanced diet so that they have all the building blocks to perform and get stronger. What we have seen is that window of carbohydrate tolerance opens way up. So instead of being the 50 grams or the 20 grams that the keto camp likes to set as a benchmark for carbohydrate um, intake, we see that open way up. And in, and in metabolically fit young males, we see it open up to where some of our athletes who are well fat adapted are pushing north of three and 400 grams a day of carbohydrate. And that is in their pre-race day intake. And then on, on race day for a long ultra endurance, they may be getting 80% of their calories or more from carbohydrates. Yet, remember, it's only, it's only providing 25%, maybe 30% of their energy output. So it's still a fat-based um, performance paradigm for strategic use of carbohydrates. I encourage you to experiment. I encourage you to play with it. I encourage you to go to our sites and, and look for the information or if you want, set up a consult um, so you can work with one of our coaches to help problem solve your needs because you're, you're an individual. Your needs are specific. Your environment is dynamic. And that's how you're going to be able to use carbohydrates strategically to really push those, those hard efforts to push through, to get that stimulation so you can get stronger, and to be able to perform at your best and be your fittest using fat as your fuel.